I have had to help every single woman I dated to go free. Not a single one came to me and said, oh, I'm already white positive. You don't have to, you don't have to do anything. They were all what we refer to in going free at, at best as vagues. So they were vague. They were somewhere in uh, the middle. They were a little political, but not much. Really what they really want to do is virtue signal that they're anti-white because they know that the regime is anti-white. That is the, the morality of the system. And so to be moral and to be fashionable, they have to have these ideas. So they want to virtue signal that to, these, uh, to the public at large, to you even. When you are going out with, on a date with a woman, I'll say this. First thing, listen. If she is virtue signaling something anti-white, just a general sort of anti-white statement, it's not going to be acerbic. It's not going to be really biting. It, it, it's, just, it's going to be clearly just a, a, a virtue signaling type of statement. The reason I'm telling you this is because if she says something that is clearly vehemently anti-white, run like hell. Don't spend another minute with her. For me, when I hear women, a woman, wh wh whatever woman I went out on a date with, and this happened, no matter how stunning they were visually, the moment they said something that was anti-white, even a virtue signal, they went a click or two down in their looks. If they said something that was vehemently anti-white, they were as hideous as the elephant man to me. I wanted nothing to do with them. That was very different from all of the guys that I was friends with, regrettably. And you men out there, you need to learn again how to have a constitution, how to have a good character. You know, this joke about, you know, her lying that she, that she, I don't how do I want to put this on the family show? That she had a moment of delight during some pleasure with you. This, this joke where the woman lies that she had a moment of delight that is rebutted by your joke that you lied about everything else to get her into the bedroom, that needs to go away. You need to be honorable with the woman right up front. Do not tell her anti-white things to get her in the bedroom, to get her on another date. You need to be a real man. If you tell her anti-white things to get another date, and then you're gonna to try to rehabilitate her later, you're gonna fail. If she says something viciously anti-white, run. Move on to the next girl. There are endless sea, a fish in the sea. If she's just mildly uh, is, is, is saying something anti-white because she feels she has to project that, you can ignore it and move forward to what I'm gonna tell you in a minute. If she says nothing, then you can kind of infer that she's at least not radical. She still could be, but she might not be. It's more likely she's not. But what you can do is start at the most reasonable place. And that is that you are for society being fair to everyone, even us. And you can watch for her response. She might say, what do you mean, even us? And then you can say something like, and this is the kind of one of the many ways that I used, well, you know, all of these, these hiring programs that focus on hiring non-white people, they are discriminating against white candidates who have worked hard and who have struggled and they're not getting a check in the mail because they're white. You know, check, manna doesn't rain down from heaven on them because they're white. They, they got to have a job too. So it's, it, isn't it wrong to discriminate against the white person who's worked for the job? just as it would be wrong to discriminate against the non-white person. If she says then, oh, no, 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 we need to discriminate against us, no matter how poor and how hard these people have worked for their job, they must be discriminated against, run. It's not worth it. Find somebody else to rehabilitate. If she says, well, yeah, that's true. It should be fair for everybody. Now you have somebody to work with. Because now you know she was mostly just virtue signals. She might hold some belief, some anti-white belief. We all have MP lesions. We all have them. So they're there. 
you're going to have to deal with it. You're going to have to help her to begin going free. But in the beginning, if you can determine that she at least thinks it's unfair that white people are discriminated against in favor of non-white candidates for school, for jobs, of course, you can bring up affirmative action. Don't dig deep into this, into the, the first couple dates. You know, you just are going to lay a couple questions out there during the rest of the evening. You have to find a lot about a person to find out if you're going to be able to get along. Don't let sex get in the way of finding out how to get along. You've got to be able to get along with this person, especially because we get together as adults now. And you're stuck in our ways. So you've got to find out if you're going to be able to get along. And one of the, the main thing is whether or not you're going to be able to be with somebody who is not anti-white. Because you're certainly not going to be able to be with somebody who's anti-white. So if she's okay with being fair to everyone, she has hope. If she has a problem with being fair to everyone, then she is too sick for your time as a partner. How's biospare different than folk consciousness? Well, I don't know what folk consciousness is. Uh, I neoterized bio spirit. Uh, I would say that uh, if I were to make a 